and welcome back to Cue the Confetti. Today is an easy project and it's fun with food. We're painting with food. If you haven't already read the book, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus, you can click on the link above or below and I will read it to you. All you will need is a big piece of paper, something with wheels on it. We've got different cars here, yes, and all different sizes. This, this is all we have. Matchbox cars work really well for this one. And then pudding. Yes. Pudding. Any kind of pudding. Any kind of pudding. If you don't have pudding, that's okay. You can always use paint. You just can't eat the paint. Okay, don't eat the paint. So we're ready, we're all set up. We've cleaned each one of these cars. We're actually not gonna use this one. This one is just to show you what we're gonna do. We've cleaned all the cars. We've washed our own hands. Yes. And we're gonna put pudding on this little plate right here. Can I, can I try the pudding? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna save the rest of our pudding for snack time later. You can stick your cars and your pudding and, and draw tracks. You can pretend like you actually let the pigeon drive the bus, Gentry. And what would the pigeon, if the pigeon actually drove the bus, wait, what would it look like? Wait, we have a school bus right I know. And we have a fire. So we're gonna take the bus for the first one, Gentry. I want you to be silly and do like, if the pigeon drove the bus, how do you think? Would you drive it straight? No. Stick it in the pudding. Okay, no. The wheels go in. You gotta stick it a little bit more. This is actually kind of like gel. He's go crazy. Done. I'm gonna try this one since it actually turns. Yes. Stick uh, it around the plate. Okay. You stay right there. This one actually has turning wheels. Oh, it's getting on the back too. Ew! It looks like, uh. <laughs> mud, it's supposed to look like mud. Yeah, it kind of, when it gets on the wheels, it looks like butterscotch pudding. Okay, let's drive it. Ooh, look at the tracks on that one. Are those tracks skinny or fat? Medium. Medium. Cool, keep going. Can I try the roller Yeah. Skate? We also have a roller skate. What's that from, do you know? Uh, I actually had two. This is a finger roller skate from Sonic. If you haven't been to Sonic, it's awesome. What's your favorite thing to get at Sonic? Just a little street. That's pretty cool. That gives a track. It's very Tiny, kind of. Yeah. Ooh, 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 I'm just gonna wait. Is it pudding? Yeah. My, my favorite pudding is banana pudding. Who makes your favorite pudding? <laughs> Aunt Pam. Aunt Pam makes banana pudding, doesn't she? Yes. And I love it. If if I um could pick two dessert that I would eat forever, I would choose lemon lasagna and banana pudding. Oh, that's good to know. Now we're gonna do something a little bit more advanced. This one's for more advanced learners. Jitter, can you use your roller skate and try to write your name? Okay. Using the tracks. This is actually kind of hard because I don't know if it will turn on the right time. Yeah. My name's gonna be kind of big. I can already see it on the G. <clears throat> if you thought my name started with a J, you're wrong. <laughs>
like most of the projects we do here at Cue the Confetti, this is a process, not a product art, in that the process of making this art is what is important, not the end result. So it doesn't have to look pretty. It doesn't have to look nice. This is a great one for sensory play, children looking for sensory output. If you have a toddler that likes to play with their diaper, this is a good alternative. If they don't play in their diaper during nap time, we'll sit at the high chair and do pudding art. They can eat it, you don't have to worry about it being toxic, and they get the sensory feeling of playing in pudding, which is similar to other things, if you know what I mean. This is an easy one today for you to do. Gentry, did you have fun with it? Does it taste good? You've got chocolate on the tip of your nose. Thank you guys for joining us today. Please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. It lets other people know about our projects and we want a lot of people to know about them. <laughs> Mostly I was just eating. For, for other art activities and science, please click the link. I'm at Cue the Confetti on YouTube and on Facebook and on Instagram.